Washington, former U.S. National Security Advisor John Bolton said Sunday he thinks North Korean leader Kim Jong-un gets a huge laugh over U.S. counterpart Donald Trump's perception of their relationship. Bolton spoke to ABC News for his first interview ahead of the Tuesday release of his tell-all book, which contains many damning allegations against Trump. When journalist Martha Raddatz asked if Trump really believes Kim Jong-un loves him, Bolton replied he could see no other explanation. Get the Times of Israel's daily edition by email and never miss our top stories free sign up. I think Kim Jong-un gets a huge laugh out of this, Bolton said. These letters that the president has shown to the press, are written by some functionary in the North Korean Workers' Party Ajit Prop office. And yet, the president has looked at them as evidence of this deep friendship, he said, adding that friendship does not amount to international diplomacy. U.S. President Donald Trump, left, meets with South Korean President Moon Jae-in in the Oval Office of the White House in Washington, as then National Security Advisor John Bolton, right, watches, May 22, 2018. Evan Vu GAP, Bolton also said he does not consider Trump to be fit for office and hopes he is a one-term president. I hope, history, will remember him as a one-term president who didn't plunge the country irretrievably into a downward spiral. We can get over one term, he said. Bolton added that he will vote for neither Trump nor Democrat Joe Biden in the November presidential elections. Instead. He will figure out a conservative Republican to write in on the ballot. Trump's administration had sought to halt publication of Bolton's book, but a U.S. judge refused Saturday to block its release, saying it was too late for a restraining order. Last straw the room where it happened is Bolton's portrait of 17 months up close with Trump until he was fired last September. In his interview, Bolton said he had resigned, noting that the last straw for him was when Trump invited the Taliban to Camp David during Afghan peace negotiations. A copy of the room where it happened, by former National Security Advisor John Bolton, is photographed at the White House, Thursday, June 18, 2020, in Washington. AP photo slash Alex Brandon, Bolton's book, which Trump describes as fiction, describes the president pleading with Chinese President Xi Jinping during trade negotiations to boost the U.S. president's chances of re-election. Moreover, Bolton backs up the allegations at the center of Trump's impeachment last year that he pressured Ukraine to dig up dirt to weaken Biden's presidential bid. Both Republican and Democratic lawmakers have criticized Bolton for publishing his book, saying he should have instead come forward during the impeachment process. The House Intelligence Committee chairman, Democrat Adam Schiff, told NBC's Meet the Press earlier Sunday that Bolton indicts himself for cowardice and for greed by making his accusations in a book instead of testifying in front of the impeachment hearings. Republican Senator Tim Scott told ABC's This Week on Sunday that he also wished Bolton would have come into the House under oath and testified. Let's block ads. Why? Show your love for him. Click the link in description. Thanks for watching.